could you share with us um, how it is that you ended up with the National Wildlife Federation and doing uh, environmental law with a nonprofit agency? Sure. Um, I really, as you said, I worked for the Corps of Engineers, the Fish and Wildlife Service Environmental Protection Agency. In fact, I actually, as a biologist, worked on the original 404B1 guidelines as sort of a junior biologist. And um, really, I guess, at, at, at root, my interest comes from living on the edge of the Everglades and really being focused around wetlands protection, particularly from my, my upbringing in Florida. So my path is really guided a lot by that really particular <laughs> single-minded focus. So I uh, went to law school um, when it became apparent that I really just couldn't make much more progress as a biologist in the federal government towards what I wanted to do. I saw the need to really engage on the policy. And so um, went to law school at Minnesota and there again I always really recognized the interest in, in environmental law and particularly water and wetlands law. and worked first for a private firm just to gain a lot of experience, but it was a small firm in Minneapolis that did have a strong nonprofit environmental effort and got to do some very interesting wetlands work there. Um, but what I, I guess really the job at the National Wildlife Federation was really my dream job. It was kind of, you know, we actually moved, we were a young married couple and moved to Washington DC in part so that I could really pursue that kind of work and immediately interviewed with the National Wildlife Federation and was lucky enough to get a position there at that time, 1987.